Welcome back, you guys. It is nearly the 4th of July as I'm recording this. I don't know exactly at the moment when I will be uploading this, but I have freedom on the brain. So I want to talk to you guys about freedom. What is your definition of freedom? What does freedom look like to you? You know, for a lot of you guys, that might be like fireworks. It might be the flag. It might be the ability to do whatever you want whenever you want. Is this not what we all dream of? And I've been thinking a lot about this ever since I heard the other day someone say how freedom, though it is the ability to do whatever you want, it is not doing whatever you want. The freedom in, you know, making the choice to do whatever you want does not really result in the freedom that you want. We have the choice and that is what it all boils down to. Really, freedom is having the ability to choose and choosing wisely. And it, I think, honestly, the more, I don't want to say mature, I don't think that's the right word, um, the more like, no, I don't want to say woke, I'm trying to just think of what, what the right term is for this, but I think just like secure, let's just say that, the more secure you are, the less that you want all of these things that you might think that you want. I think I think that wanting things is extremely important and not a bad trait at all. I mean, having desire and passion is, I think, super healthy. And if you don't have that, you're just kind of dead. But wanting a bunch of a certain thing... This is what's weird. I'm trying to find the balance as I'm saying this. Like, I'm trying to figure this out in real time. What is the difference between wanting a bunch of things and that being bad than wanting something like the desire and passion towards something that could be unhealthy or is healthy, is healthy and is not unhealthy? Does that make sense? I mean, personally, I'm a huge minimalist and I think that most secure people are because they don't need things. Wanting a bunch of things and not being able to let go of physical things, I mean, you could say emotional too, is a sign of just not, I mean, obviously insecurity, which usually boils down to the fact that you're broke. Because you feel like you need to have all of these things. Because if you let go, then you're going to have nothing. And you can't pay for it later. Which, ironically, is this great catch-22. Because the more things that you have, the more things you buy. Because you can't keep track of what you do have. And then you just go through this awful cycle of being stressed out. Because you're too stressed out by everything surrounding you. Where, as if the more money you have, typically, the less... And I wouldn't say this is always true. I wouldn't say this is always true because a lot of people I know have money, but they did not, I guess, like really require or acquire that money from a good place. And I think that is something to look into also. But the people who create their money, their income from scratch are the most clean, organized, calculated people I know. And they don't want clutter. They don't want distraction. They don't want anything to disturb their vibration. Is that the right word? Because if you go with this flow. I've noticed with my personal life. Sorry, that was probably right in your ear. I've noticed in my personal life that the more... I mean, um, the more I have on my plate and I still manage to get everything done, I've noticed that my life literally is a rhythm. The entire uh, pace of my life, the, the way 
that like what I go from one thing to the next to the next and it's all organized and it's it all just flows it is literally a beat it's like an algorithm of my like my life is literally an algorithm and one of my life mottos since this is so cringy since the one direction movie came out and Harry's mom said this she's like the beat just doesn't stop she's like I keep waiting for it to stop and it just doesn't stop and that had always registered with me because I felt that in my soul. I was like, this, this. There is something about, this is getting really off topic, um, movies, like concert movies, when they're behind the scenes, like just about to go on the stage or whatever, you know, and like on that escalator thing. And not escalator, elevator type thing. Is that what they're called? Words are not at the top of my brain today. Um, and you just hear the beat, like that heart thump, like, I don't know if maybe it's just me because I'm an entertainer, but like that, my, my heart starts beating out of my chest every time I see that and watch that. (laughs) It's, uh, I love it. So that to me just registers with, with me so much as I'm like, the beat just doesn't stop. That's how my life feels when I am living my life at the way that I want to be with as full as I want to be is it just it feels like that that feeling that I feel when I watch celebrities behind or like singers I guess you could say um just about to go on stage just the that beat that vibration that um that pace the anticipation of expecting what's going to happen. And you know, this is another quote that I really, really love. Is dreading what might happen next. Going from dreading to what might happen next. To anticipating what might happen next. It's just a mindset shift away. Being excited for what might happen next. Rather than dreading it. It's that simple. It really is. And to bring this back full circle, being excited for what might happen next comes back to that that freedom thing, right? Because dreading what might happen next or being excited for what might happen next is a choice. And we are lucky to have the freedom to choose. Which one do we want to feel? Do we want to be excited or do we want to dread it? What's going to happen next? That is entirely up to us. And as I said earlier, the freedom that we so long for is is held in making the choice that brings us peace, that brings us the outcome we want, which is more likely than not peace. Because who doesn't want peace? I think people can mistake my life as being chaotic, but I think my life is full and it's passionate. And I don't think that having a passionate, full life is bad. And again, I mean, there's a, there's a, don't get me wrong. A level of stress that is not healthy and you don't want to get stressed about it, which is going to happen regardless, but not to the extent of like it literally taking over your life. I think though that I would rather be stressed about, I would rather be stressed than depressed. Let's put it that way. Stressed over depressed. I would rather be stressed over getting a lot of stuff done and having a very, very full, exciting life and living my life. If I'm stressed, it is because I am living my life to the absolute fullest rather than being depressed because I have nothing to show for. What is the algorithm of your life? What is the beat that just doesn't stop in your life? Or do you have a beat? Do you want a beat? I want to ask you guys, what is 
that longing that you have, the freedom that you are contemplating on choosing this or that. What is the one, what, what is the thing, the choice that brings you peace? What is it? What does it look like? Why are you debating on taking one over the other if it's not the one that gives you peace? And what does that look like? I want to know. I'm genuinely curious what that looks like in your life. If you are interested in booking a free discovery call with me for one-on-one coaching, I would love to be a support to you. You can do so. The link is in the description below. You can also check out almost any social media platform of mine at Make Waves Coach and also at Mermaid Cassandra as I'm a professional mermaid. You can also check out my podcast, Make Waves Mermaid Cassandra, available every place podcasts are found. It was actually rated the second best mermaid podcast. Can you believe that? Go ahead, check those out. I will see you guys soon. Go out there and make waves. Mwah.